me again. I would like to talk a little bit tonight about uh, the existence of mathematics independent from any god or any notion of a god. There's been some claims recently that have said that in order for mathematics to exist that God must exist and therefore there's the proof that God exists because we're able to observe mathematics. Uh, and mathematics is not a physical thing, it's entirely a conceptual thing. Well, um, first of all, on the point that it's a conceptual thing, the thing about mathematics as a concept is the fact that when you think of a mathematical object, you are not creating the mathematics in your mind, you're creating a model of the mathematics in your mind. It, the model did not exist before you conceptualized it, but the mathematics always existed, always, okay? So mathematics is something that's universal, it's always existed, it exists because it's possible. Given a set of rules, there are certain consequences, and mathematics is simply playing out those consequences according to those sets of rules. Now, in your mind, when you create a mathematical object, you're setting up a model whereby that model obeys certain rules that you have conceived of. And given the same rules, you will get the same outcome. That's why mathematics seems like it's universal and why people agree on what mathematics is. We, uh, although mathematics by itself is absolute and universal, the language for communicating mathematics is something that we must reach consensus on. We agree to the same terms in describing mathematics. We agree on the rules and what sets of rules are called in describing mathematics. So the language of mathematics is something that we have reached consensus on. The underlying mathematics that is, given a set of rules, what are the consequences? That is absolute, and, and no one is disputing that. Um, so. Just one further thing, I think rather than mathematics requiring a God to exist, my opinion is that God would require mathematics to exist, that mathematics and logic are the pre-existing conditions for a God, if a God were to exist. Now, the question I pose to theists is where did God come from? That's my video. Thanks. Look forward to your comments. Bye. What's the name of the game?